Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Town. Thanks so much for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. This morning I'm at the Sydney St. Leonard's Supercharger, supercharging my Tesla Model S. And I'm going to prove to you today that you don't need to charge your car to 100% each time you are out on a road trip. Because, as you'll see very shortly, that your charging rate slows down the closer you get to 100%. So I'll update you with uh, every 10% increment in charge to show you what the charging rate is currently. I started the charge at about 31% and it was at about 90 kilowatts. There it is right now at 39% and charging at 80 kilowatts. And at the end of this video, I'll plot out the charging rate against battery percentage and we'll see just how slowly the car charges as it gets closer to 100%. And guys, just a quick reminder that if you want 1500 kilometers of free supercharging, uh, please use my referral code THOMAS7208. I'll leave a link in the description and in the comments. If you like my content and my channel, I ask you that you use my referral code that would really mean a lot to me. Okay, we just hit 50% and the charging rate has dropped down to 66 kilowatts. All right, we've just hit 60% and as you can see, the charging rate has dropped down to 54 kilowatts. Alright guys, we are just about to hit 75%. You'll see that the rate has dropped to 42 kilowatts. You'll see also that the time has increased to 50 minutes. That's because I increased the charge limit from 80%, which is what I have on every night, to 100%. And I thought that might have uh, affected the charging rate. I thought it might have gone up. Uh, but no, it hasn't affected it at all. It's, uh, it's been declining steadily as before. Okay, we've just hit 80% and the charge rate has dropped right down to 36 kilowatts. And guys, at this point, I should let you know that I'm pretty much the only car supercharging here in St. Leonard's. No other car is uh, charging and there's certainly no car next to me, which means that my power is not being split. I'm getting the maximum amount of power from the supercharger store. All right, so now we're at 90% and it really has dropped right down to 28 kilowatts. So like I said, I'm the only car charging here at St. Leonard's. There's no one in these stalls behind me. And I'll swing around here to the front. T to the left of me, there's no one charging. I mean, there's a car there, but I can tell you that the car is not plugged in. So I'm the only car charging here at St. Leonard's. Okay, I just clocked 95% and it's really dropped right down to 19 kilowatts. 97%, painfully slow at 14 kilowatts. All right, we're at 99%, nine kilowatts, painfully slow, eight kilowatts, even slower. But that's expected, I guess. We are reaching almost 100% of the battery. Okay, we've reached 100%. There are the stats, 100%. Six kilowatt, 33 kilometers an hour. We've put in 45 kilowatt hours into the battery from the Tesla supercharger. I think I've been here over an hour now, but I'll go home and have a look at the stats properly and plot it all out for you. There are a couple of things I want to discuss too when we get back home. I'll see you very shortly. Okay, so I've reached home and I've plotted out all my numbers on a spreadsheet. A bit hard to read at the moment, I know, with just numbers on a page, but I've got some graphs coming up in the next few slides. This slide represents supercharging speed with battery charge on the left versus time on the x-axis. As you can see, the blue line is the line of best fit for my car. It starts off pretty good, uh, but as, the, as time goes on, the charging speed does drop off. This red line represents the charging speed initially. As you can see, the blue line drops off dramatically after about the halfway mark. This uh, red line here represents uh, time at about 35 minutes, which is about half the time it took to charge my car to 100%, and it correlates to about an 80% battery charge. And that last 10 to 15% took a long time, and the charging speed was very slow. This is a plot of battery charge inversely related to charging speed. So the blue is the charge of my car. As you can see, as it went up over time, the charging speed proportionately went down uh, in an inverse fashion. So charging speed goes down as battery percentage goes up. 
So some supercharging take home points from today's experiment. It took me 70 minutes to charge from 31% to 100%. In half that time, 35 minutes, my car reached 80%. It took 15 minutes to get from 95% to 100%. And charging speed after that dropped dramatically below 22 kilowatts. And that's the speed of a three phase AC charger. My car is a 2015 Tesla Model S. Did I experience battery performance issues? Anecdotally, I don't think so compared to previous occasions where I've used this supercharger. If you own a car as old as mine, can you let me know if you've experienced anything like this where you think it's gone a bit slower? But personally, I think it's not really any slower than what it used to be. I experienced ideal experimental conditions. It was early in the morning. I didn't have to share a store with any other car at the supercharger. So some conclusions I've reached from this experiment. Charging speed seems to be the quickest up to about 60%. After about 80%, the charging speed drops dramatically. The last 5% is painfully slow. So my conclusions are, don't supercharge to 100% unless you absolutely have to. You're better off charging to 80% and driving to the next supercharger. Otherwise, it's not an efficient use of time. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that little experiment of mine. If you're in the market to buy a Tesla, um, please use my referral code Thomas7208. I'll leave a link in the description below and in the comments that will enable you 1500 kilometers of free supercharging. All right, stand by for my hashtag Roadster Down Under Pledge. And as always, happy charging. I do solemnly promise, should I win a Roadster 2020 in Tesla's new referral program, to list this vehicle on an electric car sharing platform to allow all Australians an opportunity to drive this magnificent car as part of a greater effort to bring the electric vehicle to this great nation. Hashtag Roadster Down Under. Help me by using my referral code Thomas7208. Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. Happy charging!